What's good everybody? It's your boy Lil Smacky coming at you with another Black Ops 4 video. So if you guys don't know what an operator mod is by now, either A, you haven't really been playing Black Ops 4, or B, you haven't checked out my last video about the Cordite Belt Feed Operator mod. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll put the link down in the description. I highly recommend you should check it out, especially if you don't know what an operator mod is, because I explain it all full in depth in that video. As for this video, I'm going to be talking about the very overpowered SG-12 operator mod. This operator mod is called Strobe Light. What the Strobe Light does is it shows a blinding light on your screen so that you can't even see what's going on. Alright? Not only does it make it hard to see the enemy, it also takes away aim assist. And for all the console players out there, you know that aim assist is very important. Because if you try to play without aim assist... It's hard. It's bad. You're not going to do very well. The SG-12 in this game is kind of like AA-12 from other games. It's a shotgun, except instead of being fully auto like the older games, it's only a semi-auto. It's got six shots, six buck shots in the magazine, and it's actually got a pretty fast reload. One of the nice things about the SG-12 is you can ex equip extended mags 1, which brings it up to 10, or you can equip extended mags 2 which more than doubles how much ammo you originally had. Unfortunately, the SG-12 does not have a one-shot kill range, unless you're playing hardcore. So that means you can be up in the person's face, you can have their your barrel of your gun at the person's back, and you can shoot them right in the back, and you'll get a hit marker. Now granted, this will do about 140 damage, you're not going to kill them, again, unless it's hardcore. I kind of disagree with this, even though shotguns are supposed to be way less powerful in this Call of Duty game, I still think all shotguns should have some sort of one-hit kill range. If I'm touching you with my shotgun, and I blast you in the back, or I blast you in the head, I think I, think I should get the kill. I think that's fair to say. This gun also has a couple of other useful attachments that you unlock by leveling up the weapon. Like I said, you have extended mag 1 and 2, which makes the total amount of shots you have 14 if you equip both of them. You also have Laser Sight 1 and Laser Sight 2, which basically just makes the gun more accurate with a hip fire. You have your basic long barrel that you can put on any shotgun in basically any Call of Duty that just extends the range of which you can hit people and extends the damage fall off range. But like I said, this long barrel works a little bit different with this gun than with the Mog 12 because with this gun, there is no one hit kill range. If you're using the Mog 12, long barrel extends the one hit kill range. But again, no one-hit kill range with the SG-12, which is kind of unfortunate. The other two attachments were, which are new to this game is the Steady Grip, which reduces recoil during hip fire, which makes it center again. So, like with most shooting games, if you shoot a gun, the gun's going to bounce a little bit, just like in real life. But if you attach the Steady Grip and you're hip firing with this thing, it's just going to bounce a little bit less. It's going to make it more accurate, easier to hit shots. The last unique attachment is called Max Load. I know, kind of hot, right? Basically, this attachment will increase your damage that you do per shot, except not enough to make it a one-hit kill. So, say you were shooting someone from a certain range, and you would hit them for 120 damage. If you add Max Load, maybe that shot would go up to 135 damage, which is nice for shooting damaged people, or maybe it'll turn it from a three shot to a two shot weapon. All in all, it's kind of a preference attachment. It's up to you. I know I didn't talk about this in the last episode with the Cordite, but when it comes to getting camos for the SG-12, you actually have to get headshots instead of one shot kills. For me, I'm at 69 out of 100 headshots. And one thing I noticed is once I started using the strobe light, I started getting a lot more headshots. And I think that's a valuable piece of information with this gun, because headshots are actually pretty hard to get with shotguns. You have to be really close to them in order to get them. The strobe light gives you the opportunity to shoot your opponent in the head without them really being able to hit you. I noticed that before I used the strobe light, I was getting maybe one or two headshots a game, which was kind of frustrating. But once I tossed on the strobe light, I noticed I was getting six to even sometimes ten headshots a game. It was crazy. When it comes to creating a class for the SG-12, 
I think one of the most important things that you can add is speed. My preference when using the SG-12 is putting on gung-ho and lightweight. That way I'm moving really fast and I can shoot while I'm running. As for my gear, I like running the stim shot because usually I'm going to take a little bit of damage when I'm in a fight because it's always close range, which means they'll probably hit one or two bullets before you finally kill them. As for perk 3, I usually like to run Team Link, Dead Silence, or Tracker. And you guys may be thinking, whoa, what about Ghost? Ghost is overpowered. Well, if you guys didn't know, Ghost is actually kind of broken in this game. I can make a whole nother video about that if you guys want to know. But right now, Dead Silence might be the best perk in the game. And for perk 1, usually I'm always running Flak Jacket or Tack Mask. That's because I like to run Crash as my specialist character, so I don't really have to worry about Scavenger. And as for Engineer, I usually only run it when I'm running a Helion Salvo, which I haven't been running lately, especially if I'm using a secondary like the SG-12. Overall, I think the SG-12 by itself without the Strobe Light is probably a below average weapon. I'd say without the Strobe Light, it's probably about a 5 out of 10, even with good attachments. Once you toss on the strobe light, however, it probably goes up to a 9 out of 10. Tossing off aim assist when you're playing on console is awful. So having an attachment that literally changes players' settings when you look at them, there's not much you can do against that. Obviously, strobe light only works within a certain range. So if you're outside of maybe 10, 15 meters, the strobe light won't affect you and you're an easy kill. But if you're using the SG-12 with strobe light and you're close range with them, they're going to have a very hard time hitting you. And that's why I really think this gun is overpowered. If you watch some of the gameplay, I'm picking up a lot of kills even when the people see me first just because they can't hit their bullets because the strobe light is so powerful. I say you guys try it out, level it up. It's worth leveling up to max level. You don't have to prestige it if you don't want to. But get it to max level, get that strobe light, and try it out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see other operator mods, give me suggestions. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like or even subscribe for future content as it helps me grow. That's all I got for today's video. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the whole thing. Like I said, let me know if you guys want to see anything else. It's been your boy Lil Smacky. Peace out.